factor x squared minus x minus 56 how to get started we're looking for two numbers that add up to negative 1 because there's a neg negative uh, 1 hidden there there's a 1 hidden hidden here multiplying the x and we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 56 what are those numbers going to be well if we're in doubt we can always break down 56 into prime numbers and I'm gonna quickly do this over here uh, remember I'm gonna put some prime numbers up top here 7, 11, 13 and so on so we always start dividing the number by the lowest prime number possible which is 2 in this case um, well, when I said in this case, of course, 2 is always the lowest prime number. However, we always look for the lowest possible that we can divide by. In this case, it's 2. So 56 divided by 2, 28. We can divide by 2 again, 14. Two by 2 again, 7. And finally by 7 to get 1. This whole thing means that 56 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 7, which is going to help us. Actually, 122 is there. Actually, I want to I want to write it down down here. And with these guys, we're going to be able to form combinations of numbers that will multiply to 56. So the first choice, of course, would be 1 and 56, but that won't let us add anything up to negative 1. Um, how about 2 and the rest here? 2 times 2 is 4 times 7 is 28. 2 and 28. Also not a good choice to add up to negative 1. We could also combine um, let me pick a different color here negative 2 and 2 and 2 and 7 that will be 4 and that will be 14 4 and 14 also not a good choice to add up to negative 1. We could also pick 2, 2 and that's a terrible color let me pick a different one also pick 2, 2 and 2, and 7. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, and we have 7. Well, that looks like a good choice, because if we have negative 8 and positive 7, those will add up to negative 1. Mission accomplished. So, here, I can split up the negative x into negative 8x plus 7x, then minus 56. And now we can factor by grouping. So these guys have an x in common, so we can factor it out. And these guys have a 7 in common, which I can also factor out. Then x plus 7 times x minus 8 is the answer. We can always do that when we're factoring by grouping, because we have the same element here, x minus 8 and x minus 8. And we have x plus 7, so we add them up and multiply it by just one of them. If we expand this guy, we're going to go right back to where we started, of course, which is a good thing, which because it means that we factored it correctly. So hopefully that make it made good sense. And for similar videos, you know where to go.